Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Pastor James Reese, Heaven's Light Ministries, preacher on patrol. Hope you have a blessed day. Here's something to provoke you. Let's say you have a nice home, you have a vehicle, and you live in your vehicle in your driveway. And Monday through Friday, you're there living in your car. You'll drive around town, go places, do things, park in the driveway, sleep in your car, eat in your car, and various things. On the weekend, though, Saturday and Sunday, or maybe Sunday, you just you choose to go in the house and sleep in the bed, take the showers, and eat a nice meal in the kitchen. But then Monday rolls around, and you're back in your car living in the driveway, just living out of the car. How ridiculous is that? actually insult some of you to, to kind of even think about such a thing. Well, you know what God tells us? He says over in John 14, 23, if people love me, they'll obey my teachings. My father will love them. We will come to them and make our home with them. You know, God wants to be your dwelling place. Did you know that? Not a place of visitation, not a not a weekend getaway, not a bungalow in the mountains, not, not a mountain cabin to occasionally visit. No. You see, God wants to be your dwelling place. So don't consider using God as a vacation cabin, okay? He wants you under His roof now and always. He wants to be your mailing address, so to speak, your point of reference. He wants to be your home. This is your God, the one that loves you, the Creator that holds the very next heartbeat in His hand, who releases favor your way each and every day. You know, for many, this is a new thought. Even if you've been a Christian your entire life, this is just a new concept, isn't it? But it's the way God has created us to worship Him and be a part of Him and live in Him. We think of God as a deity to discuss, not as a place to dwell. We think of God as a mysterious miracle worker, not a house to live in. We think of God as the creator to call on, not a home to reside in. But our Father wants to be much more. He wants to be the one in whom we live and move and have our being. That's in Acts chapter 17, verse 28, in case you were wondering. You have a great day and ponder on these things. You have a blessed day.